Okay, so let me introduce you to this 2019 Sprinter 4x4 build. Uh, I built it in 2020. It is a 2500 and it is a 4x4. It has the diesel V6 in it. And let me show you uh, about the, uh, the rear rack situation. So it's got steel racks on the back here that bolt to the uh, hinges that hold these uh, Milwaukee pack outs that you can store all your, you can store your electrical cords, your camping, um, uh, cooking setup, as well as I would, I stored my bicycle helmets in the back of here and uh, my cycling gloves. And the, these doors, I'll show you how they open in a minute, but you can put three bikes on the back of this rack. And the nice thing about how this rack is set up is that you can get three bikes on here and the doors stop here so that the bikes don't hit the side of the van on either side. And so let me continue the tour here. So on the back doors, we have pockets. I would use these pockets to hold my uh, bicycle tools, such as like my shock pump for my mountain bikes, uh, small Allen wrenches, tire sealant, stuff like that. Uh, over there, that's the outdoor shower uh, tent that I have uh, set up. And here's an outdoor shower that all hooks up to the main wa uh, water system. Just hooks in there. It's a pressurized water system. You can take an outdoor shower right here. Um, and then I have these bins here for storage. There's three bins. I'll show you those when we get to the front but there's also little cubbies back here underneath the bed. I keep things like bicycle tires. I have a set of um, recovery tracks in here, off-road recovery tracks for if we get stuck somewhere. And then here, you gotta, you gotta show this. This is a place to store one bicycle inside. The forks just mount here on that bicycle mount and then the rear tire tethers down here. And I got a piece of plastic so that the tire wouldn't tear up the um, interior walls. And as you can see here, I have some 12 volt fans for while we're sleeping. So let me show you the uh, bed, how the beds work. So these beds are designed, they're, they're somewhat modular. These, these are the head, uh, this is like, if you wanna lay from back with your head to the back and your legs to the front, you can pull these out and you put the uh, this bed extender on these racks here. And you can sleep with your feet fully extended on both the front or the top and the bottom bunk. So What's nice about this van is that everything is accessible. You don't have to take any kind of crazy stuff off of it to uh, do what you're aiming to do. So my little kids, my two twins would sleep up here. Mommy and daddy would sleep down here. And these are all covered in ultra suede. Uh, custom covers, custom one-off covers. The uh, bottom bed is memory foam. The upper bed is a little firmer because it's a little thinner. And then up there, I'll show you this while we're in the back. This is a 12 volt vent. And I got just the covers on here. But I can... It, uh, just a 12 volt vent in the back. And everything is, the interior is covered in tweed and fully insulated. The floor is insulated with the foam underneath the, um, the coin flooring. I can't remember exactly what it's called at the moment. Uh, as you can see, I got LED lights in the uh, interior of the van. So here I wanted to let you see the uh, wheels here. These are method race, race wheels, a little bit oversized tires. They're not crazy oversized. They're like 265, 70, something like that. I don't know exactly, but they have agile off-road uh, 
wheel spacers to give you a little bit wider stance, as well as sumo springs. You should come in here and see if you can get a shot of the sumo springs. Right down there. There you go. And agile off-road rear shocks. Agile off-road Fox rear shocks that really tame down the rear end um, for uh, just every day. Just everything about it just stop the swing and uh, bouncing around. I also have a dually awning here that comes out. I put plastic in place to keep from scratching up the van or denting up the van. Uh, the awning is great, as well as exterior LED lighting that's all controllable via the interior. And up front, I have sumo springs as well for the suspension. There's nothing really to see there, but it does have sumo springs. So let me show you this front hitch that I have mounted. It's got a front trailer hitch mounted so that you could put a generator up here or extra storage. And this here is a generator hookup. It's all integrated into the van. You could pull this out and hook into a generator right here. You could have the generator running while you're going down the road. And the whole electronic system in the van is designed so that if you hook up the generator and turn the generator on, it'll switch to generator power instead of battery power. And it'll start charging your lithium ion battery uh, with the generator running. So this is all tucked, you can tuck this out of the way. It's all integrated, it's all easy to use. Let me get a picture of the engine. The van has very little mileage. It's got 24,000 miles on it. So I'll show you some interior features. To get in and out of the van, I have installed running boards as you can see. But a really cool features that really aid for adventuring, for um, mountain biking, are the integrated ARB air compressor. I use this thing almost every time I use the van because I always have to air up tires, but you can also air up the van tires with it. It is a serious unit, it's not just a toy. It really will work for van tires, bicycle tires, uh, anything that you may, may need it for. Um, we got a fire extinguisher right here. We have diesel heater integrated into the van. This thing will get so hot it'll burn you out of here. And as well as an Alpine stereo system that integrates with the factory head unit. It's a subwoofer underneath the driver's seat and it's got JL audio uh, speakers in the doors as well as new speakers overhead. Here's the uh, little 19 inch DVD player TV right here. If you want to show, show that. It just pops down. Kids can watch TV while you're driving down the road. And it has shelving up here in the front, built in shelving here, and then shelving here as well. So, why don't you? All the construction, as far as shelves are concerned, as far as this um, galley bay is concerned, is all made out of Baltic birch, um, high-end Baltic birch. It's, lot, it's much better than plywoods that you would get at uh, your big box stores. Um, this is all laser cut. This is to hold drinks, uh, salt and pepper shakers, oils, you know, things of that nature. And then here I would, you know, have our phones stuck in in these areas and charge off of the um, 120 AC um, connections and here is an induction oven we have this you know this work thing works great as long as you've got steel cookware let me show you this here so this is just a kitchen sink you can turn on the pump right there there's a light to tell you when the pump is on when you're sleeping you don't want it on so there's a light so bright that you couldn't sleep with it on. It pumps right out, no problem. But the nice thing about this kitchen sink is that this pulls out and you can use it as an inside shower. Let 
me show you how that all works. And believe me, after a few days in the van, you will want a shower. So, this is a shower setup. It just sets, sets up like a regular tent using PVC pipe here, similar to a pole tent. Set it up, hook it into there, hook it into here, and then to drain it out, the, ba the basin is waterproof, to drain it out, we've got a pipe here. It's a little, fits into here. You take this out, and it drains out of the van there. It's a really simple way to keep space at a, um, to keep from filling up the van too much with an inbuilt shower that's always there. I'm gonna put this away. What kind of material is this right here? That is a pe outdoor Pendleton um, uh, material. It may be wool, I'm not sure. It's got a Southwest uh, motif on it. I really like it. The uh, whole idea for the, mo the um, colors in here, the blue and the, and the oatmeal color, are kind of to be like a uh, surf cabana, you know, something something kind of surf oriented. But here, here's the bins. I keep, you know, bicycle stuff, lawn chairs in these bins. There's three of these underneath the bed that hold everything. And it's accessible inside or out yeah, in the back. inside from front or to the back. And back here, I have just a bin for food or uh, utensils, whatnot. Here's my little five gallon water uh, container. It's just a five gallon bucket. Um, but what's really cool about this, you turn this switch on, and an hour later you have hot water. So excellent for a shower if you want to take a hot shower. And I can't tell you how nice it is to take a hot shower after a few days out, you know, out in the wild. So in here you can see we got more storage. And this just closes with the magnetic closure. So if you want to just hang out and watch TV in here, the top bunk turns into a backrest for just hanging out. You could fit three three across here. And the seats, all the seats except for that one, have storage in the rear, little pockets that you can store things in. Uh, it also can has an AC unit that you can um, turn on if you're hooked up to 120. It's a uh, Coleman unit. Really nice unit. 12 volt fans. These are marine grade 12 volt fans that are, are, are fully articulating. It's got a composting toilet. Um, this, I cannot say enough good things about the composting toilet as compared to a porta potty type setup. Uh, We've, you can go for a week or two without having to empty the thing um, for going number two. For number one, it's just a uh, milk jug, and but it works amazing. This is a Dometic 12-volt refrigerator, but it can also be ho hooked into 120 uh, AC. Um, fantastic. Have, it is one of the best purchases that we've made in this. Between this and that, I can't tell you how good it is to have those two things. And as far as electronics are concerned, it's got like a little unit that can, like I said earlier, it can decipher between 120 AC and power coming in from the generator. Uh, it has a 120 amp hour battery and it's hooked up uh, to the alternator as well. The alternator can charge it and you can monitor the power via a power sonic app it's a power sonic battery and if you want to come on back around here okay. 
So all of the DC as well as AC is controlled through this um, switch panel. It's got it's got uh, fuses for everything as far as uh, your 12 volt system and it's got AC uh, circuit breakers. It's a simple electric system. It's worked very well. Um, and you can turn off the ability to switch. You can turn off your your charging from the van so that if, you're tr if your battery's charged up, you don't want to continue charging it. It's just through a switch on the front here. There's large marine grade switches that will turn off um, 12 volt power as well as the power going or power coming from the alternator to charge the house battery. It's got a hundred and seven or I'm sorry a 750 watt power inverter. Nothing crazy. Uh, we didn't we didn't intend to be making coffee um, out in the wild without. I mean we always we typically carried a generator. Uh, solar power is an option in here and more batteries but the intent was to keep the con the electronics in a small compact area and everything is underneath these seats um, it's easy enough to get to you can actually pull the cover off the electronics battery and, and get to most of them and I guess for the most part that is oh here it's got all the shades necessary to cover up the windows they just go on with magnets uh, we have them for any exposed window it's got a carbon monoxide detector built in and all the switches use toggle switches I'm a fan of toggle switches I think they're just cool so all the lights here for the interior toggle switches and that's the exterior uh, LED lights that should just about do it, do it.